Hello, hello, good evening. Hi, Rafael. How are you? I'm fine. Thanks for asking. How about you? How are you? How do you feel today? What about your day? How was it? Uh, um, very complicated. Very complicated. And, uh, work. You're at work? Yeah, I can see that you're still at work. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah. Um, sí, se hizo demasiado tarde, entonces me acabo de dar cuenta que eran casi como 15 minutos para las 8 y mejor me quedé aquí. Okay. A recibir la clase. Oh mm. my God, okay, Rafael. So, well, but at least you are uh, safe, right? And the traffic is terrible. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, so yeah. then, all right. Was it a busy day? Did you have a busy day? A really busy day or? Yeah. Yeah, right. Uh, we, we translate a, a, a part of the of the machines mm -hmm. bueno yo trasla, eh, trasla, el día de hoy trasladamos un taller aquí adentro de la empresa entonces se complicó todo tenía una montaña de correos todavía y, y no salía y como el viernes había que dejar algo decente <ríe> ok hello Nelson yes ok hi Nelson good evening hi good evening how so are you? I'm eating right now. Oh, you are eating. Okay, okay, okay. Got it. Okay. <clears throat> so enjoy your meal, Nelson. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, so I can see that. Let me see if we have Edwin already. No, well, we have Walter. Walter is connecting as a listener. Let me see, Edwin. Mm, no, the, yeah. Okay, so. Well, guys, um, Welcome once again. Okay, so we are finishing with week number two. Yeah, I hope you have finished with your assignment, right? With the homework that you have on the platform. And if not, remember to finish it today. Okay, so we are going to start with today's agenda. We are going to have the warm up, then we are going to move to grammar. Well, today we are going to talk about the quality department in a company. Good evening, Good evening Raul. Uh, we also have the speaking time, and today we are going to have um, a different thing with the speaking time. I will explain to you uh, that later on. We have grammar quizzes, and we also have the listening quiz, okay? We have games, and we have the wrap-up, okay, the end of the class. So as a warm-up, we are going to start with a tongue twister. So we have this tongue twister, and it goes like this, guys. Betty butter bought some butter, but she said the butter is bitter. If I put it in my butter, it will make my butter bitter. But a bit of better butter will make my butter better. So it was better Betty butter, but a bit of better butter. Okay, so that one is with the letter B for you to practice the letter B. Yeah? So once again, Betty butter bought some butter. But she said the butter's bitter. If I put it in my butter, it will make my butter bitter. But a bit of better butter will make my butter better. So it was very, very butter, but a bit of better butter. Yeah? Just for you to practice the letter B. Okay? So one by one, you are going to say it. One by one. I'll give you 10 seconds, 15 seconds for you to practice it alone and then one by one, okay? Okay. Let's see. Uh, okay, so we are going to start with Edwin, then Salvador, then um, Rafael, then Raul, and Nelson, and well, Walter is busy right now, um, and Anna, okay? You're the last one. Okay, so right now, please, Edwin. So I try it, teacher. Yes. Very butter, but some butter. But she said the butter, Peter, 
if I put in my butter, it will make my butter bitter. But a bit of better butter will make my butter bitter. So it was better, better butter, but a bit of better butter. Yes, very good. Okay, well done. Thank you, Edwin. Eh, Salvador? Mm -hmm. Very butter bow, some butter, but she said the butter bitter. If I put it in my butter, it will make my butter bitter. But I put a better butter will make my butter better. So it was better, very better bow, a bit better butter. Yes. Okay. Very good. Well done. Well done, Salvador. Eh, Rafael. Okay, I'll try. Very butter bowl, some butter, but she said the butter's bitter. If I put in my butter, I will make my butter bitter. But I, a bit of better butter will make my butter better. So it was very, 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 very butter, but a bit of better butter. Very good. Yes. Well done. Okay. Raul. Thank you. Awesome. Okay. Uh, very butter, both some butter. But mm -hmm. she said, but she said the better, better, if I put in my better, it will make my better bitter. But a bit of better, better will make my better, my butter better. So it was better, very. Better, very butter, both a bit of better butter. Okay, butter, okay, butter. Yes, okay, well done. Thank you, Raul. Uh, please, um, Anna. Well, yes, Anna. Uh, very butter bought some butter, but she said the butter bitter. If I put it in my butter, it will make my butter bitter, but a bit of better butter will make my butter better. So it was better, Betty. Betty, butter bought a bit of better butter. Okay. Now, guys, mm -hmm. this one is pronounced butter. Butter. Okay. Butter. Yeah. Butter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nelson. Okay. <clears throat> very butter bought some butter but she said the butter be there if i put in my butter it will make me it will, it will make my butter bitter but a bit of better butter will make my butter better so it was better better betty butter bought a bit of better butter okay all right very good yes well done nelson okay we just need to improve fluency, but well done, okay? So, Eulise. Yes, teacher. Yes, can you please say the tongue twister? Uh, okay, I will try. Okay. Very butter about some butter, but she said the butter uh, bitter. If I put it in, in I put it in my bar, it will make my butter better. But a bit of better butter will make my butter better. Mm -hmm. So it was better, very butter, but a bit of better butter. Okay. Yes. All right. Um, well done. Just remember, guys, this one, since we have the contraction, butters. Yeah, butters bitter. Uh, who am I missing? Glenda, can you please say the tongue twister? Yes. Mm. Very butter bought some butter. Some she said the butter bitter. If I put it in, in the, my butter, I will make my butter bitter. But a bit of better butter will make it will make my butter better. So it was better bet, betty butter butter. About a bit of ba a better butter. A better butter, okay. Very good. It okay, it, it. yes, excellent. And let me see. I was yes, hostman. Can you please say the tongue twister? Uh 
Okay, good evening. Good evening. Very border both some better. Border. Would mm -hmm. she say the border beater? Is is I put in the my beard, it will make my better beater. Would I beat us better butter? Will make my bitter bitter. Mm -hmm. So it was better, Betty, butter bowl, a bit of better butter. Okay. Okay. Well done. Just remember this one is bitter, this one is better, and this one is butter. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. butter. Okay. Very good. All right, guys. So we're going to move all right to the main topic for today. And let me ask you, okay? First of all, we are going to cover vocabulary, yeah? So we have phrases from a text. So we have from one to five. What we need to do is that we need to join this phrase from this one, okay? So we need to choose which goes with evaluate, which goes with give, which goes with set and meet, and which goes with those two as well, okay? Which phrase from this text? Yeah. So let's see. Evaluate. What do we evaluate? Mm -hmm. What do you evaluate in a company? What do we evaluate? Useful feedback. Useful feedback. Okay. Let's add that one right there. And what do we give? Goals. I mean, uh, give is useful feedback and evaluate a negative impact or okay. effect. All right. So evaluate a negative impact or a negative effect and give useful feedback, says Edwin. And what do we set or what do we meet? What do you set at work? Job performance. Job performance? Mm, goals. Goals. You set goals. What is um, a synonym for set goals, guys? What is a synonym? Met. Uh, yes, but what is a synonym in English? Objective. Okay, yes. And when, when I say set, what do we mean? Establecer. Mm -hmm. Very good, but in English? Uh, make. Establish, okay. Establish. Very Establish. good. Yes. So we set goals. That's correct. We give uh, useful feedback, of course, right? You need to give positive feedback. What about have? Got performance. Got performance. Okay. Let's add it right there. And what do we cause? First. Stress. Okay. Cause stress. Could be. Okay. But in this case, I'm just going to um, remove this one. Cause and, and negative impact effects. Yes, okay. Yes. So in that way, then guys, um, have a negative impact or a negative uh, effect and we evaluate job performance. job performance. Correct. What is job performance? Job performance, what is it? Eh, el desempeño laboral. El okay. rendimiento, sí. El rendimiento, el desempeño. Very good. So now let's create one sentence for each phrase. Okay, so create one sentence with evaluate job performance, a sentence, a complete sentence. Mm -hmm. A complete sentence. Mm, okay. Yeah. Okay. So let me see. Um, Edwin, can you please create a sentence using evaluate job performance? So, for example, my boss evaluate the job performance. 
from employees. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Uh, just the letter R S uh, in evaluate. Okay. It should be evaluate. Yeah. Number two, give useful feedback. Um, Anna, a sentence. Uh, maybe my boss uh, give me my use feedback. Oh, okay. My my boss gives me or gave me. Uh, gave me. Okay, gave pass. Okay, mm -hmm. so my boss gave me useful feedback. Yes, of course. Um, Nelson set goals. I um no wait. Mm -hmm. I... hmm? Set goals and then um Rafael, please with have a negative impact or effect. And then Hosman number five, cause a stress. Nelson. Set goals. Sorry. <laughs> I'm still hablando mute. Oh. Uh, I will set goals uh, for the next year. Okay. Perfect. Have a negative impact, Rafael? We have a, neg a negative impact the last week. Okay. Perfect. Yes. And the last one. Cost. Oh, we had. Yeah. Yeah. We had. And number five, cost of stress. Um, a hostman. Uh, <laughs> Um, no. Mm. Me? Okay. Uh, for example, my job causes me a lot of stress. <laughs> okay, so my job causes causes. Cos Yes, because uh, yes, yes, job. per person. Okay, okay, okay. Um, we can also say um, difficult situations cause a stress, right? Mm, challenges cause a stress, right? Um, traffic. traffic causes a stress. The first cause of stress is the work. The first cause of stress is work. <laughs> okay. All right. Could be, right? Could be. Okay. When the, when the company system is down. Mm, that causes stress. stress. Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. That is correct. Of course, right? Okay. So now let's move and let me ask you, okay? Today we're going to speak a lot. So let me ask you, how do you define Quality. What is quality for you? Give me a definition. What is quality for you? It can be intelligent. Oh, it could or be no. intelligence. Okay, it could be. Yeah. Okay. In my opinion, quality is uh, the best way to present something. Okay, the best way to present something, intelligence. Okay, what else? Define, for example, uh, quality is custom server. Mm -hmm. Okay, quality in customer service. Okay, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, could be responsible. Okay. Uh, okay, could be responsibility. Okay, yes, because it involves re responsibility. Okay. Quality products. Okay. 
Okay, quality products. Okay. Mm -hmm. For me, quality is the performance of the product. Okay, quality is the performance of the product. Okay. Is so, the guarantee? Mm -hmm. Maybe it's the guarantee of safety the product. Is the guarantee, okay? Um, that the product is safe, okay? All right, good, very good. Useful. Now, okay, trustful, okay, yes. So now- Or useful. Or useful, perfect. Now let me ask you, why is quality important in a business, in an organization? Why? Why is quality important at work, at the workplace? The process, maybe. Because of the process, okay. What else? Why is it really important? Um, I think that, because. for example, if the, if the customer likes the, the product and the product is quality and the, the product, the customer likes the the product as well. Correct. Correct. Thank you, Carlos. Mm -hmm. Maybe the quality is the value of something, in this case, a uh, business or in a business. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's important because. Uh, uh, define the the trust and the the trust and the trust of the deliver, deliverables and the useful so they apart to the company okay all right perfect somebody else um, it's important. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Okay, so I think that uh, the one that was uh, speaking was, I'm not sure. I think that was Karen from Glenda. Glenda. Okay, Glenda, go, Glenda. It's important because it's recommend with new customers the product. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Uh, Rafael. Uh, the quality is important because uh, we need guarantee the all products are functionally and, and being made good. Okay. Thank you. Yes, guys. Well, I just have one observation right now. Instead of saying aport, okay, uh, to say aportar, I think that was the idea. We can say contribute. Okay, contribute. That means aportar. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, very good, guys. So you are right. Okay, all of you are correct. So in this case, quality is that, right? Is the way uh, in which we ensure that a product, that a service, is uh, trustful, right? That is in perfect conditions, right? Etc. And in the companies, we have quality assurance and we also have quality control, which is the difference. Okay, so let's see. Uh, Raul, help us reading quality assurance. And um, Carlos Eduardo, please, quality control. Okay, quality assure uh, QA mm -hmm. is the uh, uh, is the proactive approval of quality, which focus focuses on preventing the defects mm -hmm. at the process level. Okay. Very good. Okay, quality control, quality control. Is the reactive approach quality which works by finding the defects of the product health? Okay, thank you, Carlos. Okay, yes, guys, as you mentioned before, we have quality assurance and quality assurance. 
What is assurance? What is assurance? Assurance. Asegurance de la calidad. Excellent. Okay. So is the proactive approach. El acercamiento. Approach, acercarse. So is the proactive approach of quality which focuses on preventing. Preventing the defects at the process level. And that is called QA. But we also have the quality control. And quality control is the reactive approach of quality, which works by finding the defects of the product itself. Yeah, so we have two types of quality. Yeah. In this case, the one that we know is this one because this one is really uh, common as a position, as a job position, right? So quality assurance, okay? Then right now, let's talk about the quality aspects. What are those? Okay, so Anna, can you please help us reading the first three? That means performance, features, reliability. Eh, Salvador, technical durability, serviceability, and aesthetics. And Raul, perceived quality and value for money. Thank you. Performance, how well the product performs its main function. Features, additional parts of characteristics that the product offers. If reliable, reli reliability, how well the product continues to perform without breakdowns. Perfect. Yeah. Technical dura dura durability, how long the product lasts before become technically obsolete. Mm -hmm. Service ability, how easy the product is to maintain and repair. I stacked it. The look and feel of the product. Yes. Thank you, Salvador. Perceive per per quality, the customer, the customer's judgment of the product's level of quality and value for money, what the product does in, re in relation to the price pay for it yes okay so we have the quality aspects okay so we have the performance then this one is pronounced features features yeah features and what are features features uh, means characteristics yeah of the product yeah so we have reliability technical durability serviceability Aesthetics perceived with the perceived quality and value for money. Those are all of the aspects for quality. Yeah, when we say performance, we mean how well the product performs its main function. Yeah, which is the performance of your Samsung Galaxy which is the performance of your laptop, of your computer, of your smartwatch, yeah? So features, additional parts or characteristics that the product offers. Whenever you buy something, when it comes to technological gadgets, right? So we focus on features, right? The capacity, uh, the camera, right, memory, etc. So we evaluate the characteristics, features. Mm -hmm. We also have reliability. How well the product continues to perform without breakdowns, without getting damage. Yeah. We also have technical durability. How long? Mm -hmm. How long the product lasts, right? Serviceability. How easy the product is to maintain and repair 
Whenever you buy a car, you focus on that. Mm -hmm. So aesthetics, the look and feel of the product. Does it call your attention, right? Aesthetics. And perceived quality, the customer's judgment of the product's level of the quality. So sometimes we buy something because people say, oh, that is excellent. That is perceived quality, the customer's judgment and the value for money. What the product does in relation to the price paid for it. Is it value for money or no? No, right? Sometimes we say no. Then those are the aspects. Now, we have listed sentences, okay, taken from those descriptions. And what we want you is to name which aspect each sentence refers to from this list. So we have some examples. We guarantee five years of, how do you pronounce this number? Technical durability. 100,000. Oh, 100,000, yes. Kilometers of trouble-free mon mo motoring. So it is? Technical durability. Okay, perfect. What about number two? No other brand gives better performance in this price category. Perceived quality value for money. Okay. Value for money. Value for money. Correct. Mm -hmm. It's talking about price. Yeah. It has beautiful lines. Aesthetics. 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 The look, right? The look yes. is perfect. Yeah. And what about number four? It has the latest engine technology. <laughs> mm -hmm. What do you think? It's a feature. The characteristics, the features, right? The latest engine technology. And what about number five? Customer service give us top service. mark. Service. Uh -huh. Perceived quality. Perceived quality. Excellent. Okay. Very good. All right. Now let's move and we are going to move to the book. All right. So let me ask you something. Is there a quality department in your workplace? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. No. Okay. Yes. All right. So do they monitor and evaluate your procedures? Yes, all the time. Yes, all the time. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's complete the satisfaction survey using the words in the box. Okay. So as you can see right here, we have a survey. Mm -hmm. Are you evaluated through surveys? Yes or no? No, just the quality department evaluates your processes, your procedures, and that's it. Or are you evaluated through surveys? In a year. Okay. Okay, Rafael. And the other ones? What about the other ones? No. Nobody evaluates your procedures? No, I mean, my company, no. Okay. All right. Perfect. So now, guys, this one is um, a survey. Okay. And as you can see, we have different sentences right here. And what we need to do is that we need to add um, those words, okay? And this is like, um, I would say like the framework, right? Um, of a survey. Yeah, so we have the questions and we also have how you can measure the service. 
So it says one, I strongly disagree. Two, disagree. Three, agree. And four, I strongly agree. Okay, so number one, let's see. What can we add in number one? Zero. Okay, very good. So we were? We were seated properly. Yes, okay, seated. Perfect. And what about number two? The server? The server. Okay. Okay. The server was there to was take, there to our, take order. our order quickly. quickly. Number three. The server. Taking. Taking. Okay. Taking. Order. Excellent. Okay. Very good. Number four. Our survey coordinated the timing of dining of the dishes. 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 Yes, perfect. Okay, dishes. And what about the last one, number seven? Well, can you please help us reading number five and six, Susana? Yeah, the, ser the server was able to answer all oh, oh. our questions. Six. Overall, the service was, uh, was excellent. In seven. Ah, seven. Considering everything, our the dining, dining, our dining experience was a good value. Value, okay, value. Very good. So now let me ask you something, guys. Based Based on the last uh, restaurant that you visited, based on the last restaurant that you visited, okay? So which is going to be your score for all of these? One, two, three, or four? Which is going to be your score? Based on the last restaurant that you have visited, All of these are a positive thing. So, so. <laughs> so, so, so. Mm, agree. Agree. Just agree. Three. Yeah. Okay. It's not Very right. good. Yes. All right. Perfect. All right, guys. Now let's move. Okay, let's move. So right now, what we are going to do Okay, well, we're not going to continue with this right now. We are going to stop right here, but we are going to move to this activity. Because if not, we are not going to have enough time and I want you to all uh, participate, okay? We are going to have different topics. We are going to pick and speak, yeah? So you will have one minute to talk about a topic that we are going to pick for you. You will see, okay? So we have, um, let me see if it, this one, let me see. So get ready because you are going to speak for about one minute, okay? For about one minute each. So here we have, okay, the wheel of names. I'm going to spin it and I'm going to take one of you. And the one that actually appears is the one that is going to start. And then we are going to choose the topic that you are going to talk about, yeah? And you will have one minute without a stopping. You need to speak because I want you to speak, yeah? So here we go. Uh, so the first person is going to be... <laughs> okay. Carlos Congratulations. Yes. Mm, I cannot win money. <laughs> yeah, okay. Wow. Carlos, and the topic, the topic is going to be mm -hmm. smartphones. All the things uh, that you can say about smartphones, okay? One minute. Okay, the smartphone. Okay. Uh, can, can I start? Go. 
Okay, the smartphone, well, there are two types of, of smartphone. Oh, three. We have medium, medium and high kind of smartphone. Mm -hmm. uh, that the smartphone have different application and different uh, type, kind of system. For mm -hmm. example, um, we have Android 7, iPhone 8, Mm -hmm. I Android the last one I think is Android 11 mm -hmm. and we can install uh, we can set different applications for example uh, Facebook uh, WhatsApp is the common application mm -hmm. that all people use mm -hmm. and we have YouTube and we can learn about any topic in YouTube mm -hmm. and we can find a good cell phone if if the cell phone have uh, for the run and maybe 128 for the the room and that's it okay thank you all right so to say like alta gamma right we can say high range or low range okay very good uh, okay. okay thank you carlos okay well done okay Next, okay, we are going to have the next uh, participant, okay? So here we go. Next is going to be a Blanca Jennifer. Is Blanca here? No, Blanca is not here, okay. Yes. He's here? Okay. Yes, I hear. Blanca? Okay. Yes, I heard. Awesome. Okay, so Blanca, your topic is going to be, ah, uh, yeah, I saw Jennifer. Okay. Yes. Okay. Why friendship is important? Why? Okay. Okay. Ready? Okay. Go. I think friendship is important because when I need help, um the friends can help me and I think it's important for for conversation when I need and I think when I need when I have one problem and and my problem can be yeah. Can we help me? And I think it's important because um, um a moment when I am tired or oh, when I need it, he or oh, she listen to me. Okay, listens to me. Listens to me. Okay. Okay, thank you, Blanca. Okay. okay, don't worry, okay? So in this case, guys, I'm just evaluating your fluency, okay? And of course, you you are um, feeling probably challenged, okay? The purpose is that you speak. Rafael, okay? Yes. All right, Rafael, um, your topic is going to be the following. Oh, no, this one, no, okay. So your topic is going to be, no, that one, no, okay. So let's see, the internet. Yes, okay, internet. What can you tell us about the internet in general? Okay, one minute. Okay, what can I tell about the internet? Yes. Well, we can start for, uh, is the principal uh, channel to communicate today. Uh, well, uh, the, the other sections, we can do it uh, now. Uh, we'll be do it uh, in, in internet. Uh, mm -hmm. We can communicate with 
your family, mm -hmm. uh, your partners, um, whatever uh, person who you are uh, uh, contact, mm -hmm. uh, we can do it uh, a través del internet. Okay. And, and okay, uh, we use the internet for entertainment too. Um, a lot of things. That's all. Thank you. Okay, Rafael. Uh, through, the through the internet. Through. Through. Okay. Well done. Thank you. Okay, guys, I'm going to take the attendance. Okay, I'm going to take the attendance right now. Uh, say present, please, if you are there, say present. Uh, Ana Lorena Lovato. Present. Thank you. Andrea Sofia Benitez. Andrea. Blanca Jennifer Torres. Present. Thank you. Carlos Alberto Domínguez. Carlos Alberto. Carlos Eduardo. Present. Thank you. Carlos Francisco Arias. Carlos Francisco. César Homero Amaya. César. Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Edwin. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Eulice Torres Torres. Present. Thank you. Fátima Noemi Umaña. Present. Thank you. Glenda Josefina Toledo. Present. Thank you. José Salvador Bernal. I'm here. Thank you. Hosman Atilio Serrano. Present. Thank you. Juan Francisco Salmerón. Karen Lisette Sánchez. Present, teacher. Okay. Catherine Indira Velázquez. Marlon Oswaldo Paniagua. Nelson Alberto Peraza. Present. Thank you, Rafael Alexander Serna. Present. Thank you, Raúl Ernesto González. Present, teacher. Thank you. Eh, Rosa del Carmen Enríquez. Present. Thank you, Susana Milena Cruz Reyes. Present. Walter David Díaz. Yes, I think that Walter is there. Wilber Alberto Pérez. Present. Yes, thank you. Well, Walter, no, it's not there. Okay. And Jancy Azucena Sanchez. Okay, she's not here. Okay, perfect. All right, guys. So let's remove Rafael. Okay, we are going to have one more right now. Okay. Let's uh, pick the topic first. Okay, let's pick the topic. Um, okay, easy. Favorite social media site. Okay, so let's see. Uh, please talk about your favorite social media site. No, Marlon Oswaldo is not here. Okay, so Raul. Okay, perfect. Raul, can you please let us know which is your favorite social media site? What is my favorite social media site? Yes. Uh, let me see. Maybe, maybe right now, uh, one of the most uh, webs, uh, website that, that I uh, see every day is TikTok because there are a lot of Infor information but in videos or short videos mm -hmm. and I like it because when you when you see and you like uh, a group of video I remember that someone explained me that the algorithm of TikTok they put in in a in a in a bubble in a bubbles mm -hmm. so about big uh, so after that you can you can see or or tiktok show you different videos about your preference so you can see 
a lot of video about one video that you like it. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you, Raul. Observation, remember that it is someone explained to me. Yeah. Ah, really? The two, the two in the middle. Yeah, to me. Okay, Thank guys. You. Yeah. Thank you. All right. So let's move. And right now, what we are going to do is that we are going to take the first listening quiz. Okay. The first listening. Let's go to the spreadsheet. And if not, I'm going to send it right here. That is uh, the link. And the passcode is always listening in capital letters. Okay. The pass. Uh, the password, the passcode, listening. Okay, so we're going to take the first listening. Please open the link and let me know once you are in. Okay. I mean, thank you. Okay, perfect. Um, let me see. Okay. I mean, awesome. Thank you. I am in. Okay, thank you. All right. I'm going to. You're lying. Okay. And okay. Who is not ready? Well, I think that everybody is ready. Okay, everybody is ready. So we are going to. Everybody is ready. So Teacher, we are going to. Teacher, sorry. Uh, can we put a link now? Meant to a problem with the connection. Ah, uh, yes, of course. Uh, ahí está. There you go. Thanks. Uh, ahí está. There you go. Okay, ready? Yes, I think that, that all of you. Okay. All right, here we go, guys. I'm going to play this uh, audio mm, twice, okay? Twice, but it is easy. This one, it is easy, okay? Hey, Logan, how about some chocolate peanut butter milkshake? Yum, 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 yum. Dad, what are you feeding my child? What? He shouldn't eat anything but rice and plain bread. He's not supposed to eat anything else right now. <sighs> oh, this rice is so good, Logan. Yum, yuck, yuck. Sorry, Logan. But hey, look. Hey, your mom's in the other room. Let's forget about the rice for a minute. One bite of this chocolate milkshake won't hurt. Here, take a small bite. Oh, oh, no, a big bite. Yeah. How does my child like the rice? Well, Logan, look, you have chocolate all over your face. Let me clean up your face before your mom comes in here. Dad, is he not eating? Do I need to come in there? No, 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 we're fine. Thanks. Logan and I are just talking about politics, the stock market, you know, the economic turmoil in the world, just light stuff like that. Oh, yeah, that's all he needs. I, I'm coming in there. No, 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 no need. Oh, <laughs> D Dad, what have you been giving him? We've just been sharing some of this chocolate rice, a uh, uh, milkshake. You know it doesn't come in flavors, right? It just comes in rice. <laughs> that, that's a, uh. Look, wash his face. We have to go to the store. Get him cleaned up. Okay, Logan, I guess I'll have to finish the milkshake myself. Okay, ready? Or no? No. Okay. Once again, here we go. Hey, Logan, how about some chocolate peanut butter milkshake? Yum, 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 yum. Dad, what are you feeding my child? What? He shouldn't eat anything but rice and plain bread. He's not supposed to eat anything else right now. <sighs> oh, this rice is so good, Logan. Yum, yuck, yuck. Sorry, Logan. But hey, look, hey, your mom's in the other room. Let's forget about the rice for a minute. One bite of this chocolate milkshake won't hurt. Here, take a small bite. Oh, oh, no, a big bite. Yeah. How does my child like the rice? Well, Logan, look, 
You have chocolate all over your face. Let me clean up your face before your mom comes in here. Dad, is he not eating? Do I need to come in there? No, no, no. We're fine. Thanks. Logan and I are just talking about politics, the stock market, you know, the economic turmoil in the world. Just light stuff like that. Oh, yeah, that's all he needs. I, I'm coming in there. No, 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 no need. Oh. D Dad, what have you been giving him? We've just been sharing some of this chocolate rice uh, milkshake. You, you know it doesn't come in flavors, right? It just comes in rice. <laughs> that, that's a, uh. Look, wash his face. We have to go to the store. Get him cleaned up. Okay, Logan, I guess I'll have to finish the milkshake myself. Okay, do you need me to play it one more time? Or no? Well, I think that, that no, right? Because, okay, submit your answers. Okay, submit your answers. Let me see. And... Okay, uh, many of you got 100, okay? Very good. Okay, I see that some of you got 80. Okay. All right. Okay, perfect. I think that it was kind of easy. Okay, it was kind of easy. Let me move this one. Okay. So now let's continue with the class, all right? So now let me ask you guys, are satisfaction surveys a good way to make sure procedures are followed in the restaurant? What do you think about that? Do you think that surveys are uh, a good way to make sure procedures are followed correctly? Yes or no? What do you think? Mm -hmm. It's a good control. It is okay. It is a good control. It is a good control. Okay, it could be okay. Perfect. All right. Let me ask you then: Do you always fill out surveys in a restaurant? Mm, no. All right. No, really. Not but really. But sometimes I think that. Uh, is um, the serving doesn't work sometimes in some restaurants because uh, the restaurant give that the product is is a good time to serve and i think that sometimes the survey doesn't work in that case yes the survey right okay yes it depends right here in, in our country, sometimes um, you're correct, that doesn't work, right? Do you consider placing posters about procedures in strategic places? Will help employees follow those procedures? Do you think that this will help um, employees follow the procedures in a restaurant or in any other type of business? placing posters, do you think that that will help or no? What do you think? Yeah, the posters will, will help uh, employees. Okay, to remember, right, what to follow, what procedures uh, follow, okay? Yes, it could be, right? Well, all right. Let's move. So now we are going to work. Uh, we are going to work um, on teams. All right. So from one to five, five teams. Uh, team number one, dispenser. Team number two, dirt. Team number three, designated. Four, sink. And the last one, thoroughly. Okay. What you need to do is that you are going to use your dictionary, okay, to find the definition 
not the meaning, the definition. I need to define what a dispenser is, what dirt is, what designated is, what sink is, and what thoroughly is. Okay, so I'll give you four minutes for you to uh, get together, right? Go ahead and do your own research and then make a definition. And one of you is going to tell us the definition, okay? So team number one, I'm going to give you the, the, the participants, okay? Uh, team number one, Ana Glenda Hosman Rafael. Team number two, Edwin Rose Salvador and Wilbur. Team three, Carlos Eduardo and Susana. Team four, Eulise Jennifer and Salvador. And team five, Fatima Nelson and Raul. Okay? If you cannot participate, if you want, you can stay in the main room. But then if you are able to participate, do it. Okay? No, but I have an internet, the best <laughs> thing of the old times. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I think the world. I don't know why. I think that, that the internet connection is failing, right? Carlos? Creo que su conexión es una buena. Yes, I mean. Yes. Hello. Hi, Carlos. Hi. Hi. Yes, in this moment, I don't have the word. Our word is designate. Designate. Okay. In designar. In designar. Designate. But we can, we can find it. Significado. And the meaning. And what is what is the word? I'm sorry, but I can I can see Estimate. the word. Estimate. Uh, I can use send the the word in the in the chat. Yeah. Como para decir, bueno, los ejemplos los que puso totalmente. Ah, los sinónimos. Ajá, los sinónimos. Como algo completo. Ok. Minuciosamente o a fondo. Esa manera. Ok. Thoroughly researched. The Korean Center for Clues. I don't know. So, uh, teacher, what is the meaning of superficie in English? I'm sorry, what did you say? What is the meaning of superficie in English? Surface? All right, thank you. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, how do you say superficie? Okay. How do you say sorry face? Sorry face. My sorry. Sorry face. Como, como verbo o como nombre. Aquí está la. Teacher, creo con nosotros, teacher. Yes. 
Este, tenemos una duda con el número cuatro. ¿Lo tomamos como un sustantivo o como un verbo? Eh, como un sustantivo. Sustantivo. Yes. The thing. Muy bien. Sí. Es como donde se lavan los platos, un fregadero. Correct. Uh -huh. Entonces, ¿cómo lo definimos? <risas> mm -hmm. It is a place, uh -huh. it is a place where you can, and you start like describing the, the noun, uh -huh. para que mm -hmm. se utiliza, de un ejemplo, cómo se utiliza. ¿Para qué se utiliza? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, a fixed basin with uh, water supplies. Uh, sí, es. Uh, estamos haciendo una investigación minuciosa. This is really so so because back to 1784. Okay. And then other words. What words? Okay, are you done? No. No yet, okay. No yet. Designated. Designated. Okay. There. Yeah. 
Yeah. Teacher, and for example, the word dispenser is like the dispenser machine. Mm -hmm. It's like when you when you went to the, you go? the rest, uh, restaurant and they give you a a, a a glass and you go to the oh, um, machine. Yes. Ah, okay. Correct. Okay. Okay. Ready? Mm, I think yes. Okay. Right. So let me call all of you back to the main room. Okay. Let's go. Oh. Si quieres vamos allá y le explicamos que estaba solo y que yo me uní. Ok, ya vamos a salir del grupo. Eh, aquí me dice el anfitrión a un, o un participante está grabando esta reunión. Ok, ya pues no. Ok, a mí so me I... otra opción. Hi, teacher. Okay. Hi, hi. I feel like you are in the main room, okay? So you're in the main room. Okay, teacher. Yes, okay, don't worry. Okay. I'm here. Perfect, thank you, all right? I'm glad that you are here, Carlos, okay? Very good. Okay, so let's see. Uh, team one, do I have Anna, Glenda, Hosman, and Rafael? Can you please explain to us what is a dispenser? Who is going to explain to us? Rafael. Okay. Uh, we we'll talk about what is the best definition of dispensary. And, and we think it's a, an automatic machine or container which is designed to release a specific amount of something. Okay. It could be a Soap dispenser, candy dispenser. Um, it, it's a, a the, the meaning is extends. Okay. Because uh, uh, almost everything mm -hmm. you can consume, we can uh, uh, put into a machine, and this machine can dispense it. Okay. All right, perfect. Very good, okay. Um, the only probably observation is with the word designed, okay? Designed. Mm -hmm. Como diseñado, I think that you uh, wanted to say. Designed, okay? Team two, Edwin, Rose, and Wilbur. Dirt. What is dirt? Okay, uh, a system that you find on surface, and can spot a clean surface and become a dirty place that, that you have to clean after. Mm -hmm. For example? For example, can be uh, dust okay. that is sustained, you can find. Okay. So dirt is that one, okay? So dirt is basically suciedad, okay? Something that you need to clean, right? Dirt, very good. Team number three, designated. Eh, Carlos Arias, Carlos Eduardo, and Susana Milena. Yes. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, designated. 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 <laughs> it is definite, definite task or defined task. Define. Perfect. Define task. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
for example, when someone designs a person an activity, mm -hmm. like write a letter or looking looking information, uh, or when someone design customer servers. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. All right. When someone designates. Designate. Perfect. Okay. Yes. Yes, Susan. Very good. Uh, team number four, Eulisa, Jennifer, and Jose. Sing. What is sing? Okay, I team sing. It's a team. Uh, used to prepare food, to wash chicken, mm -hmm. utensils, mm -hmm. to clean fruits and vegetables. Okay. Or to western the excess water after cooking certain dishes. Okay. Yes, we use it for that. Very good. Okay. And the last one, Fatima, Nelson, and Raul. Okay. What is the meaning of thoroughly? Who is going to explain that? I, I think is for for example in the person when when she or he is very thoroughly thoroughly maybe uh, find someone or or something and uh, the people could be. Uh, throw only, <laughs> but I remember Nelson find another another okay. definition. Okay, the one. the definition, the action or activities is one that is very carefully and in a detail. Okay, wise a detail. Why ways so that nothing is forgot, forgotten? Uh, it's like uh, synonyms uh, or uh, complete, okay. completely, mm -hmm. uh, fully. Fully, okay. In my opinion, is the for the action or of something to the to the. Express a, a, a lot of focus in something. On something, okay. For example. For example, and uh, I thoroughly enjoyed the performance. Okay. And the, the person, the people, Mm -hmm. uh, focus on the other people and uh, he watch uh, he see uh, all of all of the these people doing in the scenario for okay. example all right okay so thoroughly means like carefully right carefully okay Yes, it is, it is correct. Okay, very good. Now let's move and let's continue with um, expositions, okay, let me see. Okay, so the topic this time is talk about your favorite restaurant, okay? So let me see. Fatima, can I mean my name? Yes. Fatima, are you there? Hello? I think that she's not there. Okay. Let's move, okay? So let's see. 
Eh, ok. Edwin. Edwin, can you please tell us about your favorite restaurant? Is Edwin here? Yes. Yes. Okay, perfect. So, now I don't have a favorite restaurant, but uh, I like, uh, I have a, a favorite food. Okay. So, uh, that can be my favorite restaurant because the food is good. And I like the San Martin. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the San Martin. And I like the tomato soup and soup? tortilla okay. soup. Tortilla soup. soup. Okay. Yes, I like how they can prepare that food because um, the tortilla is so delicious and the sap uh, have ingredient that can enjoy it. Okay. That's it. Okay. All right. Well done. Just don't forget that is soup. Okay. Soup. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Let's see the topic. Okay, next, uh, the next student is going to talk about working from uh, an office. Advantages and disadvantages. Ventajas y desventajas. Yeah? Working from the office. Let's see. Okay, so... Salvador, no, postman. Very good, Hoffman. You have a really good topic right there. Okay. Working from the office. Advantages and disadvantages. Okay. Ventajas y desventajas. De trabajar en la oficina. Yeah. Okay. Um, advantages, uh, for example, uh, um, access, access uh, to the... Uh, the application for the report, for example, um, controls uh, the person, um, relation for the, uh, the classwork, uh, work, and this, the disventures, for example, is the, the good, uh, good, uh, good going today, every day, or in the week, uh, uh, in the the work, um, the limited time for, for example, the launch. Yes. Um, uh, um, Phoenix, no, no more. Uh, Phoenix. Okay. Postman, repeat after me and say advantages. 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 Now say disadvantages. Disadvantages. Very good. Thank you, Postman. And yes, you had a really good point right there. Right there. The limited time for lunch. That is correct. Okay. And you know, meals are really important. Okay, so now okay. let's move, let's move, and let's go to the second listening quiz. Okay, we are going to take the second listening quiz. The second one, I'm going to send it uh, in a minute. Give me one second, I'm going to grab it for you. All right, so here, here you are, guys. So there you go, you have the link, the same thing. The passcode is listening, okay? So for all of the practices that we are going to take, the passcode will be listening for the listening, okay? So let me know once you are in. Let me know once you are in so I can uh, play the, the listening, okay? I am in. Awesome, thank you. I am in. Thank you. I am in. Awesome. 
Exacto. All right. Um, 10 seconds for all yeah. of you. Ready? Yeah? Uh, I don't see the, the link. Eulice, okay. okay. You cannot see it. Let me resend it, okay? I'm going to send it in a private message. So let's see if you get it that way. Eulice, Eulice, Eulice. There you go. Um, Jennifer, you can't. Jennifer. Uh, Eulice, let me know if you um, get it, please. And Jennifer, you as well. I send it in a direct message. Yes, I can right now. Okay, perfect. What is the password? The password is listening, capital letters. Okay, so I think that you all are ready. Let's um, let's start. I'm going to play it twice, okay? Here we go. So what do you want to watch on TV tonight? Well, what's on? Well, hmm, there's a reality show on at 7 o'clock on Channel 5. Nah, you know I don't like reality shows. I mean, they usually show people doing crazy things like, you know eating live fish or swimming in a pool full of snakes. I don't get into that. Okay. Well, how about watching a documentary on the life of panda bears in the wild? Personally, I'd rather watch something with a little bit more action and suspense. Well, then. Ah, here's something. Do you want to watch a rerun of Star Wars? Eh, I've seen it a zillion times. I'd like to see something different. Okay, let's see here. Oh, how about this? On Channel 2 at 9 o'clock, there's a home improvement show about mm. fixing anything around the house. Uh, we do have a few things you could repair in the bathroom. Fixing things? Oh, boy, I'm beat. I think I'm going to hit the sack. You're going to bed? Yeah, I have to get up early tomorrow. And then you're going to fix the bathroom? Uh, good night. Okay, too bad, though. There's a basketball game on right now, but, but I guess you can catch the score in tomorrow's newspaper. Oh, Oh, okay. I'll stay up and keep you company while I, I mean, you, I mean, we watch the game. I thought you'd change your mind. <laughs> I'll get the popcorn. Okay. okay, the second time. So, what do you want to watch on TV tonight? Well, what's on? Well, hmm, there's a reality show on at 7 o'clock on Channel 5. Nah, you know I don't like reality shows. I mean, they usually show people doing crazy things like, you know, eating live fish or swimming in a pool full of snakes. I don't get into that. Okay. Well, how about watching a documentary on the life of panda bears in the wild? Personally, I'd rather watch something with a little bit more action and suspense. Well, then. Ah, here's something. Do you want to watch a rerun of Star Wars? Eh, I've seen it a zillion times. I'd like to see something different. Okay, let's see here. Oh, how about this? On Channel 2 at 9 o'clock, there's a home improvement show about mm. fixing anything around the house. Uh, we do have a few things you could repair in the bathroom. Fixing things? Oh, boy, I'm beat. I think I'm going to hit the sack. You're going to bed? Yeah, I have to get up early tomorrow. And then you're going to fix the bathroom? Uh, good night. Okay, too bad, though. There's a basketball game on right now, but, but I guess you can catch the score in tomorrow's newspaper. Oh, Oh, okay. I'll stay up and keep you company while I, I mean, you, I mean, we watch the game. I thought you'd change your mind. <laughs> I'll get the popcorn. Okay. okay, guys, submit your answers, okay? Let me check your scores. Okay. Okay. I can see that some of you got 100, okay? And some of you got 80s. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, go uh, Ana, Eulise, Glenda, Salvador, Karen, Nelson, Rafael, Raúl, Susan, Wilber, Carlos. Okay. All right, guys. Um, don't forget, okay, to check the link that I sent on the WhatsApp group so you can get more material to practice with, all right? For you to improve your listening. Yeah, do not forget about uh, studying that. Now, let's take the grammar quiz, the grammar one. The grammar one is about simple past, okay? It's about simple past. It's about pronunciation and it's about um, simple past in general, okay? So there you go. And the past code for the one for the grammar, uh, it is going to be grammar, capital letters. That is the passcode. Please add your name as well. Let me know if you cannot open um, the quiz. I okay. mean. Thank you. You can start taking it, okay? Start taking it. Pay attention to the, to the questions, okay? I mean. Awesome, thank you. You don't have access? Teacher? Yes? Excuse me, you send the link? I oh, yes. See. Okay, I will. I will. Uh, grammar, grammar, Wilbur, in capital letters. That's the passcode. And I cannot log in. You cannot log in. What is it telling you? Uh, I. I... I don't know if I have the, the main, it's the same grammar, the classroom, and my name, that's all. But I can access. Try again the last time. No. No. It's so weird. Um, Mm -hmm. I cannot. Okay, don't worry then. It's okay. Okay. Okay, guys, for the ones that finished, okay, um, I'm going to move you to a different room so you can start practicing the speaking time. All right? Okay, I just in Okay, so the ones that already finished, please start with the speaking time. Yeah, you will see it right after grammar quiz time. You have the speaking questions, 
right? So let me see the ones that already finished. I think that it is Glenda and Rafael. Let me see. Carlos Eduardo, Ana Lorena. Carlos Arias as well. Susana Eunice Edwin. Susana. Jennifer, Karen, and Rose. Okay, Salvador, and Wilbur, you couldn't take it. Okay, okay, Wilbur, okay, Raul, Nelson, okay. In Houseman, okay. The quality. Quality. Yeah, quality. You? Quality. Quality too. Why? I don't know. Why? Give me a bit of option. Yeah. Hello, guys. Are you there? Hi, and teacher, and and I don't. Then, yes, exactly. Mm. In, okay, Rose. Creo que no se... tomar captura la pregunta. Oh, okay, pero tiene el link de la clase, no. No. Ah, vaya, permítame, se lo voy a pasar, deme un segundo. Okay. Okay, that's the link for the class. Um, so we need to start practicing those questions, okay? I need you to please try to speak, yeah? Try to practice with your partner, yeah? It's time for you to speak. Okay. Let me see. In my screen. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Hey, wait. Uh, That's it. You run. I don't know the meaning about it. 
Bastante. Ok. You can ask. Ok, I... Ok, yo respondo o pregunto. Hi. Can you can ask. Hear me. Hi. Hello, you can Hello. hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I ask you or or I answer. You answer. So I ask you. Okay. Um, Would you rather have quality or quantity? I think it's better have quality because if you have quality, you can build and you can have more. Mm -hmm. What about you? Would you rather have quality or quantity? So it depends. Uh, the quality is important, but the quantity too. So that depends what we are talking about. Mm -hmm. If we talk about personality. Personality what? like friends or so yeah, if we are talking friend. about friends and i prefer a quality mm -hmm. okay what do you think uh, for me the quality before quality. the it's important in the company for example the sales or the or the the person visit a hall However, the data visit um, and bought um, and uh, comprar boy, the boy, yeah, the quality survey, custom survey. No? What about you, Fatima? No, Fatima. It's not here. Okay. Uh, the question. next question. Yeah. Do you mind paying extra for better quality? Uh, Edwin? So, uh, if we are talking about the quality and sometimes it's better to pay extra because the uh, things or that we buy uh, can be can be better okay um so uh, the that can certify it. the quality what about you mm, actually i prefer paying extra for better quality like for example um do you know pet chivo pet do you know chivo pet yes well uh quality quality uh, that you send or show uh, is more specific than than show more and more and more and more. Yes. Okay. You think? I think that I agree with you. Uh, quality is uh, 
is, is better because I would like uh, uh, I could like I could be uh, the the person or someone uh, with quality and uh, I can have a lot of quantities uh, of something but but if I had one thing and this thing is make or do with high quality is 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 okay for me. Okay, the next question. Do you mind paying extra for better quality? <laughs> it's the band. For example, in the food, uh, some cases, uh, I I prefer, and for example, pizza. I prefer pizza classic. Classic or pizza. Classic pizza. Sorry, or pay a few money for speciality, other speciality. Mm -hmm. uh, this is uh, a lot of ingredients, uh, a lot of more taste. Tasty? Uh, mm -hmm. More tasty, sorry. Uh, for example. Well, in my case, I prefer uh, pay extra for for a better quality uh, in in whatever food things or for example a course. Mm -hmm. And you, Ulysses. Okay. I I prefer paying extra for for better scene, for example, a better services a uh, um different restaurant or a specific yes. uh, when you when you when you go to the beach uh, a specific uh, services uh, I can pay more extra for a, a better hotel or or better services for me. Mm -hmm. Okay, the next question, which countries produce top quality goods? It's the alta gama. Well, in motorcycles, yes. I don't remember uh, quality of life. Yes, but it's, not, but it's one, they say, I don't know. Yeah, quality or warranty of life? Do we feel good? Uh, and also think they say that Carlos Arias, the do you when you have a, a house in a safety place? In a safe uh, place? Safe place. And uh, can you uh, have all near? Okay, the next question is What are the indicators of quality life? Mm -hmm. um, maybe uh, I have a not good job, but a formal job, mm -hmm. informal job, and what else? Um, you have a formal relationship with your with your parent or wife. Mm -hmm. um, economy as well. You have a good economy. I think that. Is, I think that is 
Carlos Ari. He is poor quality in the, in the process. Mm -hmm. Or Mar explained the process all day and all day and all day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They no, they not interested. They, they are interesting in this process. Mm -hmm. Is the is because they they are they are in poor they are poor quality mm -hmm. and disappointment all day. In your case, uh, I I I went. Uh, a company. I went to a company. I went to a company. Uh, to cancel a, a service. Mm -hmm. He and mm -hmm. they did not solve my problem. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which question are you practicing, guys? When was the last time something disappointed you because of its poor quality? Oh, so that was the last time that something disappointed you? Mm hmm Okay. All right. And what comes to your mind, okay? What comes to your mind when you hear the term quality of life? What comes to your mind? What is it? What is quality of life? I think it's a life with... Okay. Peace and, and joy when we, we are mm -hmm. able, sería capaces. Yes, correct. Capaces de love, to, to love other, other peoples. Other people? Other peoples. Sin la S, other people. Other people. Other people. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what do you think, Jennifer, Karen, and Rose? I think the quality of life is when 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 I enjoy my life. And I don't have a strength. And I enjoy my family, my work. And when I enjoy with my co-workers mm -hmm. and my best friends. Yes. So you have quality life by being happy. By being happy and feel loved. Right? Very good. Mm -hmm. Can money buy quality of life? Yes. Yes. Why? Because the money is the quality of life in the for the house in something in the food. The, the, Mm -hmm. in the feeling okay all right so mm, okay all right 
I agree at some point because you can pay your house, right? All of your things. And that is quality of life as well, right? Yes, that is correct. Okay. Who has, who has a better quality of life? A student or a worker? What do you think? A student or a worker? Mm, okay, a student? I don't know. A worker? Mm, it depends, but I don't know your opinion, right? Because if we focus on the student, they are almost the whole day at the school and they have a lot of homework, right? They, ha they, ha they have a lot of expositions. They have a lot of uh, events. And workers, you are the whole day at work, but you get paid, right? So who has a better quality of life for you? Students or workers? Mm -hmm. In my case, I, I believe that a worker mm -hmm. has a better quality of life. Okay. Because, wow. because I we, we can we can to work. We can work. We can work and ganar dinero, como se uh, earning money. Earning money mm -hmm. para nuestras necesidades. For our necessities. Mm -hmm. okay, in my opinion, I think depends uh, of the attitude. Okay. Because uh, it's not necessary have money mm -hmm. or, or work because um, the, the people works in oh, cool. some case. In some case, don't have any money because they work, but um, custom, how they do you say? Spend, they spend. They spend uh, money in, in some things. Yes. They yes. don't have any money too. Okay. All right. Okay, just because of the time, we are going to stop right here and let's go back to the main room, okay? Let's go back. Thank you, okay. 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 Very good. So we are done with today's class. Uh, we are going to wait just for the other ones to join. Okay, so I, I see Jennifer, Jose, Salvador, Karen, Rose, and we have Anna. Um, okay, let me see. Anna, do you think that money can buy um, quality of life? For me, maybe I, until uh, one point, maybe, but it's not all because can buy something that uh, can you no you can the easy your life but is uh, something important thing uh, in the live on the life is not can buy okay the important things in life cannot be both both mm -hmm. excellent okay yes I agree. All right, guys, just because of the time, we are going to stop right here, okay? So I, I go ahead and rest. Have a great weekend. And the only one that please stay with me, let me see if he is here. Yes, Hoseman, please stay with me, okay? Then the other ones, you may go ahead and rest. I'll see you back on Monday. Try to study. Don't forget to complete the platform, okay? Please don't forget about your homework, okay? Rest, guys. Enjoy your weekend. Take care. Okay. Thank Have you. a good Thank night. You. Bye. 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 Bye.
Eh, okay, Hostman, how are you? Great, teacher. You're great? All right, yeah. perfect. Okay, Hostman, we are going to have this feedback in English and Spanish, okay? We are going to use both, yeah? Eh, Hostman, I would like to know about you. I would like to know uh, how long have you been studying English? Okay, um, this module I uh, uh, bueno, sentido, I'm very difficult for me and new expression, new grammatical, new grammar, uh, new vocabulary. Um, uh, no, no, no easy in this moment. Because okay. the practice and studying in the in the in in certain moments, okay. uh, the the remember and practice uh, really. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, husband, hace cuánto empezó a estudiar el idioma? Okay. Uh, bueno, el año pasado empecé a, a nuevamente estudiar. Estamos hablando hace como unos siete meses. Siete meses. Ok, ok. Entonces, en ese caso, siempre ha estado con nosotros, con inglés corporativo. Sí, sí. Ok, muy bien. Ok, perfecto. Bien. Eh, eh, ahora déjeme preguntarle. Bueno, ya me comentó que ha sentido el, el módulo un poco difícil, ¿verdad? Pero ahora uh -huh. le hago preguntas generales. ¿Cómo se ha sentido dentro de la clase? ¿Cómo se ha sentido con la dinámica de la clase? ¿Cómo se ha sentido con las dinámicas que hacemos? Eh, speaking, listening, etcétera. ¿verdad? ¿Cómo las ha sentido? ¿Cómo se ha sentido usted? ¿verdad? Eh, ¿Considera de que hay algo que podamos cambiar o hay algo que podamos incluir? Etcétera. Ok. Eh, realmente no ha gustado la temática, bueno, la, eh, digamos la, la currícula como usted lo hace. Porque hay un poco de todo. Entonces, eh, si sí vengo de, de módulos donde, por ejemplo, el módulo anterior, esto, eh, oíamos mucho español y en inglés, explicación en inglés, español. Entonces, con usted fue full English. Entonces, ese, ese, ese cambio en principio me costó. Sí. Eh, sí, de repente me quedo que no entiendo mucho, pero al mismo tiempo mi cerebro trabaja más. Okay. Trabaja más y los ejercicios que usted nos pone de gramática, de listening, igual me están permitiendo que mi oído se desarrolle un poco más y al mismo tiempo a mí me está exigiendo que en ciertos momentos yo también me tenga que aprender a hacer, a, a, no meterme tanto a la escritura o aprenderme nuevas palabras, sino que escuchar realmente, ¿verdad? Y cuando escucho a otros compañeros de la clase que están a un nivel, digamos, un poco más avanzado, uno se queda... ¿verdad? No pasamos sí. más abajo, pero eso también me motiva porque digo yo, yo, o sea, tengo que aprender, tengo que aprenderle un poquito más. Pero sí me gusta la, la forma como leo porque hay mucho diálogo, mucha conversación, el, el escuchar y eso creo que es lo más importante para poder desarrollar el, el, el aprendizaje para que todo. ¿verdad? Sí, vale, perfecto. Mm -hmm. Bien. Eh, de hecho, pues, eh, sí, supongo que el cambio que ha sido de básico a intermedio ha sido como un poco grande en el sentir que en intermedio comenzamos full inglés, ¿verdad? Entonces, básicamente ese cambio es entendible que lo sintamos como, antes pues yo escuchaba un poquito de español y me explicaban en español, ¿verdad? Entonces, en intermedio tratamos nosotros de hacerlo de esta manera para que ustedes se vayan acostumbrando a los niveles que vienen, ya que los niveles que vienen son un poco eh, difíciles porque vamos como avanzando en todo, ¿verdad? En el vocabulario, en la gramática, en el listening, como usted me lo acaba de, de mencionar. Y me alegro mucho que le, eh, que le guste la dinámica de la clase, ¿verdad? La currícula, como usted me dijo, de la clase, porque en realidad es diseñada para que ustedes puedan practicar más de una eh, habilidad en el idioma, porque en ocasiones, como usted me lo mencionó, nos dan más gramática, ¿verdad? Y se enfocan menos en speaking y nos dan más quizás gramática y no se enfocan en listening, ¿verdad? Entonces, es muy importante que todas las áreas vayan de la mano. Entonces, eh, al menos en este mes, pues que vamos a estar juntos, vamos a tratar de hacerlo así, 
para que ustedes pues vayan desarrollando un poquito más y más y más y más, ¿verdad? Su, su, um, su vocabulario, su habilidad de escucha, su habilidad de speaking, porque speaking es súper importante, ¿verdad? Eh, es bien esencial que les enseñemos gramática, pero también que ustedes se puedan desenvolver cuando yo les pregunto, ¿what is quality? ¿Sí? Entonces es muy importante que usted me pueda responder eso y que no se quede, no sé cómo decirlo, ¿verdad? Porque en realidad la gramática es esencial para que usted pueda generar ideas. Sin embargo, el speaking es un poquito más esencial porque son habilidades productivas. Son habilidades que se deben de desarrollar y eso se está tratando de hacer con ustedes, ¿verdad? Así que me, me alegra bastante que eh, se sienta como retado, como un, como un desafío, ¿verdad? Porque eh, solo así se aprende en ocasiones, ya que si no nos acomodamos. Entonces, eh, es bien importante. Atención, yo la semana pasada, así los primeros días, yo me sentí, híjole. Pero al mismo tiempo ya empecé a agarrar el ritmo, empecé a sí. entender, y de repente hay cosas que no comprendo, pero cuando ya se ven ejemplos, o ya se lee, entonces, bueno, ah, esa cosa. Entonces, ya ahí uno se orienta. ¿no? Si de repente usted me hizo alguna pregunta, por ejemplo, y yo me quedo, ups, eh, mi cerebro ha tratado, ¿verdad? Pero de repente sí me quedo en las nubes. Sí. No lo voy a hacer, luego me quedo así como, como, hey, no sé, pero ya cuando escucho otros ejemplos, usted ya dice un ejemplo, ah, ya mi cerebro empieza nuevamente a, a, a trabajar, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Igual, por ejemplo, no nos pone a leer, vengo acostumbrado a estar que, que nos leíamos en grupo, el teacher leía y nosotros repetíamos, y después nos ponía a dialogar, entonces hoy nos te dice, ok, plano, sotano, léalo. Entonces, de repente una palabra nueva y uno, pero es la, es la, la verdad que es la forma de que uno también se quite el miedo. Sí, y la correcto. forma que se usa también, todos participamos y eso es bueno porque también a uno eh, es la única forma. Equivocándonos, creo que vamos a, aprender el, vamos a aprender más en inglés. Correcto. Entonces, exactamente. Cuando uh, lo, eh, lo pongo como a leer. Me gusta hacer eso porque en realidad ustedes salen de su zona de confort de estar escuchando nada más al maestro, porque en ocasiones el maestro lee y lee y lee, pero ¿y el alumno dónde queda? Entonces en este caso, eh, pues lo es mucho al revés, a veces yo leo, pero la mayor parte pues pido también de su ayuda porque me gusta escucharlos, porque así los puedo corregir, ¿verdad? Exacto. Y ustedes se quitan el miedo, porque es lo más esencial, que se quite el miedo de cometer errores, porque todos cometemos errores cuando estamos aprendiendo. Entonces, es muy importante que se diga, aunque yo me equivoque, yo voy a leer, aunque yo me equivoque, yo voy a opinar, aunque yo me equivoque y que no sepa. Cuando usted no sepa eh, algo que yo le pregunte, Hosman, pregúnteme, dígame, teacher, I don't understand the question. What is the meaning? ¿Ok? Cuando usted no okay. sepa algo, siempre, uh, aunque no sea yo la que se lo pregunte, pero que sea en inglés algún otro maestro, siempre dígale, teacher, I don't understand the question. Can you explain that to me? Repeat or explain that to me or what is the meaning? ¿Verdad? Para que a uno le pueda explicar y usted también pueda comprender y así pues vayamos poco a poquito, ¿verdad? Y soltándonos un poquito más. En este caso, mi feedback para usted, Postman, es pues que lo he visto con bastante entusiasmo, ¿verdad? Siempre está súper atento a la clase bien pocas veces que, las que usted no ha estado como eh, atento a la clase en decirle esto que tiene la cámara apagada, siempre la ha tenido encendida. Entonces eso es muy importante porque uno ve la motivación que el estudiante tiene. Entonces en este aspecto pues yo lo felicito porque yo veo que usted está muy motivado, ¿verdad? A pesar que usted me dice, teacher, yo he sentido bien complicado, ¿verdad? Pero está motivado, entonces lo felicito no pierda la motivación, siga adelante con el idioma. El idioma es muy importante ahora en día y usted pues paso a paso y poquito a poquito va a ir avanzando. Eso pues no hay duda, ¿verdad? Que en ese momento usted sienta un poquito complicado no significa que ahí se va a quedar toda la vida. No, si usted sigue avanzando va a haber un momento que ya se va a poder defender como usted escucha tal vez a otras personas que están un poquito más avanzadas, usted va a lograr eso también. Pero es de practicar, practicar y practicar. ¿Verdad? Sí, Así que lo felicito. Sí, eso es sentido, que a medida hay más vocabulario, uno tiene más vocabulario, pues se desenvuelve más y 
tiene más forma, o sea, tiene más léxico realmente a la hora de estar hablando, utiliza las palabras, entonces de repente uno quiere decir algo, pero como no sabe, el no sabe cómo decirlo, ahí es donde uno se detiene. Entonces, Exacto. sí, vamos aprendiendo nuevo vocabulario y todo, pero sí, okay. gracias por el, okay. el apoyo. Ok, entonces cuando pase eso, que cuando se esté expresando una idea y se quede como en blanco, ¿verdad?, Pregunte, o, o dígalo en español, yo le voy a decir en inglés, cuando usted termine le voy a decir, ok, la palabra esa se dice así, usted siga, ok, Perfecto. no se vaya a detener, así que en este caso pues le agradezco bastante también la responsabilidad que ha tenido Osman, ok, es muy responsable, espero que la plataforma pues no le, le ha dado problemas o ha tenido alguna dificultad con la plataforma, no, no. bye. Entonces, el examen, vamos a... Bye. Entonces, en este caso, pues, eh, básicamente, pues, eso sería todo por el momento. Si usted tiene alguna pregunta de algún tema, algo que usted no comprende, hágamela. Siempre hágamela. En el WhatsApp me puede preguntar o me manda un mensaje a mí en privado y yo con mucho gusto le, le respondo, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, para estar ahí en contacto, así que por el momento, eso sería todo. No sé si tiene algo más que agregar. No, no. Al contrario, gracias. Gracias por la oportunidad. Eso no he preguntado porque también me ha dado... Así como penita o algo, pero ya que ya tuvimos esta, esta conversación, pues ahí vamos a estarla molestando con algo que no entendamos. Pero Va. muchas gracias. Bueno, ok, un gusto, Josman. Ok, pasa feliz noche, cuídese mucho. I'll see you back on Monday. Ok. Ok, see you. See you.